Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, we're gonna continue with uh, answering a few questions on the time plot and then I'm gonna show you how to graph the time plot. Okay, so let's answer some questions. So this is the time plot we constructed in the previous tutorial. Right, we have the situation is customers arriving at a shop with an inter-arrival time of three minutes service time is four minutes each customer so I've got all this uh, constructed so customer A arrives at nine o'clock takes four minutes to be served customer B arrives at nine or three B starts being served at nine or four and so on so the first question I got for you guys is when does customer D arrive so let's look for customer D Customer D arrives at 9.09 on the dot. Okay, so the answer is 9.09 uh, on the dot AM. All right. When is customer C finished? So I should probably say it better. When is customer C finished being served? When did customer C finish being served? Finish getting served. I guess. Okay, when did customer C finish getting served? So if you look at customer C, so C starts being served at 908. So 908, 909, 910. 911, C is still being served. So it's actually 912. Sorry. 912 that customer C um stops getting served. So customer C has left by 912. So that's the answer for when did customer C finish getting served. Customer F so let's look for customer F, which is here. Starts at 920, 921, 922, 923. By 924, customer C, customer F is gone. Alright, so that's the answer to that one. Uh, let's see. Okay, next question. How long does customer H wait in the Q4 so let's look for customer H and customer H in the Q so that is the that is the column for customers in Q and if we look for customer H 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 customer H was in the Q for 7 minutes All right how long does customer H wait in the Q 7 minutes that's unfortunate. Okay, so let's wait till the next lesson to start graphing the time plot because uh, this took a while. So, yeah, let's do graphing the next lesson. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.